All right, so as you just saw on the screen right there, let's talk about the free refund token you may have received today. So if you weren't aware, if you come to settings and then all the way to the end on account and privacy, right here under recent purchases, you can see how many return tickets, AKA a refund that you have. So I don't know if they updated this, but this is a lot more text than I remember seeing, but it says cancel purchase. You may cancel any unintentional purchase made with V-Bucks. We knew that. Cancel purchase is available until you equip or use your purchase during gameplay. Yeah, so they must have updated this because that was a recent change. You can pretty much buy an item, test it out, and as long as you don't use it in an actual match, you can then refund it. So we knew all that. But anyway, look at the next part, returning purchases. In cases where you unintentionally purchase an item with V-Bucks and purchase cancellation is no longer available, you can use one of your three annual return tickets instead. You'll receive one additional return ticket every 12 months up to a maximum of three. Each ticket is added 12 months following the most recent ticket you received. Only items purchased within the last 30 days are eligible for returns. Consumable items such as the Battle Pass, Battle Pass levels, or llamas are not returnable. So let's click into this. And you can see the things that I recently bought. Oh, you can return big bundles like this? I did not know that. Huh, I can return a gift too? This was a code I redeemed. Wait, let me click this. Oh, just kidding. Okay, so I can't return any of these. I was gonna say, what the heck? These are just things I got, I guess? That's kind of strange. I mean, I bought this with real money, so I guess you can't return those. Anyway, here's one I actually bought that I can use a return ticket on. But that's not what I want to show you. I want to show you on the right that I now have two tickets available. And again, it says once a return ticket is used, your return ticket refresh date is 365 days following the most recent ticket you received up to a maximum of three return tickets. So not all of you would have received a return ticket today. If you're like me, when they initiated this entire return ticket policy and never used one, today is the day. So last year on this date, October 12th, that's when they first gave out the free ticket. And I never used it, which is why I got my second one today, same date. And I'll get my third one, you can see, on October 12th, 2023, one year from now. So most of you should have received your second ticket today. But if you used your first ticket, whatever day you use that on, that's when your counter reset. So let's say, for example, you used your return ticket on November 5th, 2020. 21. So last year, November 5th, you'll get your new return ticket, November 5th, this year. So it's whatever date you used it on, that's when your counter resets and you got to wait a full year from that date. So everyone gets one free a year. It just depends on if and when you used it on the date you're going to receive it. Hopefully that makes sense. But like I said, if you're like me, you should have got your second one today and you'll get your third one a year from today. Pretty cool. It's nice of them to do this. It was a nice change a year ago. And it's still a nice change right now. So if you want to use a return ticket, by the way, you just click into this and it's going to say, yes, I want to use a return ticket or no, take me back. And it says your account has two return tickets available. After using this return ticket, your next ticket will become available October 12th, 2023. So obviously it does give you ample warning before you use it. So I'm going to go back. I don't want to return that. Pretty sweet. So there you go. Check to see if you have your free refund ticket. And again, if you don't, it's because you used your previous one on a different day and it'll come a year later from that date. There you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter grader code, which is TaborTime.